Hello, thank you for joining me for another Design Spec tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the new Budget tab. I'll show you how you can create a budget for your project, how you can add things like markups and allowances, and then how you can generate quotes and internal reports on the Reports tab. So go to the project you're working on. You'll see there's a new Budget tab up near the top. And here you'll see a list of all the items you spec in the project. So you'll see quantity, unit cost, and extended cost. Quantity times unit cost gets extended cost. Now you can make changes right in the spreadsheet here by clicking on something. So use the um, arrow or tab keys on your keyboard and you can make changes very quickly. So any changes that you make within the spreadsheet here will be reflected back in the main spec window and vice versa. You'll see some of the quantities have locks on them. That indicates that the quantity for this item has been specified by area. So you're not able to make changes here, but if you go to another tab and you open the, the window here, you'll see where this has been indicated as quantity by area. So here you can make adjustments and then it will be reflected back in the budget tab. Some of the items don't have the lock, which means that they're not specified by area, so you can make changes here. You can also um, adjust the unit, and then again, any adjustments made here will be reflected back in the main spec window. So for example, if you make a change to the cost of the pillow to make it 86, go into the pillow, go to the pricing tab, and you'll see it's now 86. To change it back to 84, save it here, go into the Budget tab, click Refresh. Now you'll see it's been changed to 84. So on the right, you'll see the grand total, and we're going to add a few line items to this. So go to the Add button. You can add an item level or budget level cost. So the item level cost allows you to enter a specific cost per individual item. So if you click on that, You'll see you can add whatever you need. Whatever this needs to be, you can make it up. And pick either fixed amount or percentage. This will be the default, and then you can adjust it later. And you can choose whether it's taxable or not. So now you'll see we have a whole new column you can fill in, and a new line item over here. The T means taxable. So just click on it, and use your arrow keys, and you can move down quickly and adjust installation costs. You can also change this to be a percentage if this is what you were given by your vendor. So you can see as we populate the column, it reflects over here as the installation cost. Now if you want to get rid of this whole column, you can click on the trash can icon here and it will delete it completely. So if you want to do um, a budget level cost, this is also an option, and this will just create a really rough price for something like, say, shipping if you need to do um, an estimated percentage on the whole project. So this percentage will be applied to the base level cost of all the items as a subtotal. So here you can see it shows up as 8% of the subtotal. So before any um, other items like installation or tax, this shipping is based on just this subtotal here. You can also add an allowance. So this is also a rough idea of what you might need to um, include a budget price for, something in the future. So you can make this a percentage, call it styling or maybe drapery, indicate if it's taxable or not, then save it, and you'll see a new line item over here called allowances. And you can also edit that, so at the very bottom of this spreadsheet here, you can either click on it and make changes or you can delete it altogether using the trash can. And then you can also add any number of taxes that you like. So if you have um, a sales tax or a state tax, you can indicate that here. And it will show up on the right again as a new line item. You can click on it and make adjustments too. Now if you're doing internal purchasing for a project, you may need to add markups. So you're able to add either an item level or budget level markup. So item will be markup individually per item. Budget will be a rough percentage overall for everything. 
And when you're generating the reports, you can either create an internal budget report where which you'll see the markups, or you can create a client-facing quote which incorporates the markups into the price. Now you can see we have a new column for markup, then you have the extended markup, unit sell, and then extended sell price. So you can add the markup either by adding it manually per piece, as so, or you can actually adjust the unit sell cost, and then you'll see the markup percentage will automatically be indicated here. You can see this has been adjusted. So um, extended markup is the total profit, and then unit sell is the price per piece. Extended sell will be the number of pieces times the quantity that you have. And either way, whenever you're indicating some new information in one of the columns, the other columns will automatically update for you. Now to remove this markup, you can click on Remove Markup here, or you can also use the trash can over here. So let's remove this item level markup, and now let's add a budget level markup. So this is just a rough overall markup for profit based on the percentage of the base quantity and base price. So that's indicated here as 8%. So here you have the grand total of the cost of all the items in the project, including all of the allowances, shipping, etc. So you may want to filter this and generate a report for only certain types of items or items in certain areas. So to do that, you go to the Reports tab. You can either create an internal budget, which will be used by the firm, and which will include the markups and profits um, broken out. So you'll see a summary of the cost of the items per areas. Here's your allowance for styling, your total markups, sell price, installation, shipping, and tax. Now if you don't want this to be um, broken out by area, you can also change it in the settings here. Then moving forward, you'll see um, the area first, so the bar, followed by all the different types and the total cost for each one. And if you'd like to send a quote to a client, you can click on the quote. Maybe this time we'll change the settings so we will not group by area. And we can show perhaps the owner furnished items in just the guest rooms to give you an idea of how you can filter these reports. you'll see it's a shorter report this time. Again you have a summary. Now here the markups have been included in the main price, not broken out, but it still shows shipping, tax, etc. And then you also have the, the prices for all the individual items in the project. Now if you want to make um, a couple adjustments, you can go to the home icon, click on the budget setup, you can now add a client signature line to be signed for approvals, and you can also input your terms and conditions here. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to reach out via email if you have any questions about how the budgeting tab works. Thank you very much.